Are you struggling with GED math? Well, this type of problem that we're looking at is something that you have to be able to solve quickly. I'm John, I'm from Tablet Class Math, and I've been teaching math for decades, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to solve this type of equation so you can save a lot of time on test day. All right, so here is the problem. We have 2x plus five is equal to 17. Now, if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm gonna show you again exactly how to solve this. I'm gonna give you a couple of quick techniques that you can use. So depending on how you see a problem like this, you can really solve this thing quickly and with complete confidence. So a great way to solve an equation like this on the GED is to try numbers. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, I'm gonna explain what I'm talking about here, but let's first make sure you understand what an algebraic equation is. So we have 2x plus five is equal to 17. Now, what we're trying to do here is figure out what is the value of x. So what is x equal to? In other words, what number does x have to be in order to make this equation true? Now, an equation is true when the left-hand side equals the right-hand side. So over here, we have 17 on the right-hand side. So a true statement is 17 is equal to 17. In other words, 14 is not equal to 17. So this is not an equation because this isn't true. 17 is equal to 17 because the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. So that means 2x plus 5 must be equal to 17 because we have a 17 over on the right hand side. But the trick here is to figure out what is the value of x? In other words, what is the value of this variable such that when we plug in this number and replace x with a number and we take this two and multiply it by this x, in algebra, two x means two times x. So this is multiplication. So really what we have here is two times some number x plus five is equal to 17. All right, so that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to figure out what the value of x is equal to in order to make this equation true. Now, this is fantastic, especially if we have a multiple choice situation. So let's say we have a few answers here, a, b, and c. Now let's say uh, these are values of x, right? So let's say x could be equal to one, or x is equal to two, or maybe x is equal to six. So let's just test some numbers here real quick. So if one is the right answer, well, what happens is the following. We could take this X and replace it with a one. So that's gonna be two times one plus five. Is this equal to 17? Well, two times one is two. So two plus five is seven. Well, seven is not equal to 17. So A would not be the right answer. And then we can just continue this until we discover the correct answer, which is six. Because two times six, if X is equal to six, two times six is 12. 12 plus five is indeed 17. So C would be the right answer. So even if you don't know algebra, if you have a multiple choice question on the GED where you have an equation involved, you should be able to get these answers 100% correct all the time. All right, so this is a great direct approach in order to solve an equation like this on the GED. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about algebra as uh, not every question is going to be a multiple choice question. So if we don't have a multiple choice question, we could still try different numbers, but a much better way to solve an equation like this is to use algebra. All right, so we have 2x plus five is equal to 17. And again, the objective here is to figure out what the value of x is equal to. Now, we're trying to figure out what x is equal to. Let's just kind of think about what this says or what this is saying. So we're trying to determine x is equal to what number, right? So we're trying to figure out x is equal to some value. So in this equation, we have 2x plus 5 is equal to 17. Our objective here is to write this equation in a very simple manner. So instead of 2x plus 5 is equal to 17, we want to use some tricks here or some techniques to rewrite this equation where instead of 2x plus 5 on the left-hand side of the equation, 
all we have is x, all right? So if we can get just get if we could just get x on the left-hand side of the equation and some number by itself on the right-hand side of the equation like 6, well, this is the solution to the equation. All right, so this is what we're really trying to do. We're trying to figure out what the value of x is equal to. Okay, so we have 2x plus 5 is equal to 17. Now, if you keep a couple things in mind, you can solve pretty much any basic algebra equation. And that is the following. We need First, we want to think of an equation as kind of a uh, teeter-totter, teeter-totter, excuse me, or a scale, all right, or a seesaw, all depending upon uh, what you called it as a kid. And we're talking about one of these things right here where you've got one person on this side and one person on this side. So we want to keep things in balance, all right? So again, 2x plus 5 must be equal to 17 because 17 is on the right-hand side. So if you have a scale here and you have 17 over here and 17 over here, well, the scale is in balance. But if you have 14 over here and 17 on the other side, well, the scale is going to be off kilter, right? So it's kind of go, going to go down in this manner. Okay, so just kind of keep that in mind that we are dealing with an equation. So the left-hand value is equal to the right-hand value. Now, just like a scale here, matter of fact, let me go ahead and put up my 17 and 17. If I take 7 off, on this side of the scale, well, this becomes lighter, right? So really what our scale is going to do is something like this because we're going to end up with 17 and 10. But if I take a 7 off on both sides of the scale, right? So 17 minus 7 over here and 17 minus 7 on the other side, well, just by taking 7 off on both sides, I keep things in balance, right? So the scale is still in balance, but we just have different kind of weights here, 10 and 10. So the main idea here is the following. You could do any step that you want in uh, algebra to an equation as long as you do it equally to both sides. In other words, you can add whatever you want to both sides of the equation as long as it's the same number or same variable. Same thing with subtracting, multiplication, and division. Now, there's additional things that you'll need to understand in more sophisticated equations, but basically that is the main idea. Okay, so if you keep that in mind, and you also keep in mind that we're trying to solve for x, well, then we can solve this equation. All right, so this is what we call a two-step algebraic equation. So what we need to do is whittle this thing down in order to get x on one side of the equation. All right, so how do we do this? Well, the first thing that we want to do is subtract 5 from both sides of the equation, and we want to write it just like this. Now, when we do this, we want to add down in a column manner. So by subtracting 5 from both sides of the equation, we're not breaking the equation because we're subtracting the same value. We're just rewriting it in a different manner. So 2x plus nothing is what? Well, that is 2x. 5 minus 5 is 0. So that goes away. And then we, here we have 17 minus 5, which is 12. Okay, so we went from this equation, 2x plus 5 is equal to 17, to 2x is equal to 12. These equations right here are equivalent, but this equation is much closer to us having x is equal to some number. Okay, so we're almost done here. So we have 2x is equal to 12. How do we solve this basic equation for x? Well, this is multiplication, 2 times x. 2x in algebra means 2 times x. So to get to x, what we want to do is the opposite of multiplication, which is division. So what we want to do here is divide both sides of the equation. Again, we're doing the same operation to both sides by 2. Okay, so 2 divided by 2 is what? Well, that is 1. Or so right here we have 1x or x. And then, of course, 12 divided by 2 is 6. So 1x is equal to 6. This 1x really means x. All right, so if you have an x, that means 1x. So here we have x is equal to 6, which, of course, is the solution. All right, so these are two techniques that you can use to solve uh, basic algebraic equations quickly on the GED. Now, remember, if you have a multiple choice question, you should be able to 100% get those uh, answers right, okay? Because uh, obviously, 
if you have um, a choice like A, B, and C, and you don't have a situation where you have like option E, none of the above, if you only have A, B, C, and, a, B, C, and D, and there are values there, well, then one of those uh, values must be the solution. But even if you don't have a multiple choice question, if you have an answer, you could always go back and double check that result by plugging it into your equation. Okay, so if you need additional help with the GED, I have a fantastic GED math uh, prep course. You can follow, uh, or you can get to that course by following the link in the description of this video. But you definitely need to know how to solve basic algebra, algebra equations on the GED. And you need to do these uh, equations as quickly as possible. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.